I'm Shane Farmer, this is Dark Horse, and today we're doing the first ever recorded Concept 2 Ergathlon on camera. <laughs> Welcome to Dark Horse, where we believe in changing lives. Through teaching you to value hard work, resilient habits, and the pursuit of your passions in an effort to change your lives and others, we just happen to use fitness to get there. If you've never heard about the Concept2 Ergathlon, that's actually not very surprising. I literally just got the email about it yesterday, and thus, this video is coming out. Probably the most important question to answer first is, what on earth is an Ergathlon? It's actually pretty easy. It's simply a triathlon, but using Concept2 machines, you can link the biker, the skier, and the rower together to do one singular event. Hence the ergathlon play on words. Pretty clever. The nice part is, however, you don't have to have all three machines. You can actually use any two pairings of their machines to do the ergathlon event, meaning you could row, bike, row. You could bike, ski, bike. You could ski, row, ski. You could row, ski, row, row, bike, row, bike, row, bike, bike, ski, ski, bike, ski, bike, ski, bike, ski. I think I nailed them all. You're welcome. But if you actually want to get ranked for this event, meaning if you want to be on the global ranking system for the Concept2 Ergathlon, you do need to use one of each machine. In order to accomplish this event, you are going to need PM5 monitors on all of your machines. How does that work? Well, there are essentially two ways that you can accomplish this, and it depends on which version of the PM5 monitors you have. Now, if any of the machines that you're going to be using have a PM5 that is all gray, like this, see how that's all gray there? There's no green. This is a PM5 V1. Now, the only difference between the V1 and the V2 is that the wireless chip is stronger in the V2. So if you have any of the three machines, or two, if you're gonna do two of the machines, if any of them are the V1, you're gonna need to use an ethernet cable to make this happen which isn't that bad, these are pretty cheap. Just make sure you get long enough ones that will be able to run from each machine to the next so that you have plenty of length and you can hardwire these machines together. But if all of your machines have the PM5 V2 marked by the green Concept2 logo on top, you are going to be able to wirelessly link all of your machines together, whether that's two or three machines. As long as they all have a V2 monitor, you can wirelessly link them. As an asterisk, big thank you to Concept2 for sending me two new PM5 monitors for this video. I did have two of my, my ski erg and my row erg both had V1s. These just came in the mail today for me to be able to shoot this video. So big thank you to Concept2 for providing two new Concept2 monitors, both V2s, so that what you're gonna see today as I do this will be wirelessly linked. What does the setup of the monitors look like though? Because this is definitely something new and most of you probably have not seen this. So let's just do a quick walkthrough of what the monitors are looking like, the buttons we push, how we get this thing set up so that it's not foreign to you the first time you may choose to do this. And it's actually pretty fun. So I hope you do take advantage of this. Now, because I want you guys to understand how this thing gets set up, let's take a look at how I would make this happen. Now, I love running erg data on my phone whenever I'm doing any kind of piece on any machine because it's going to wirelessly log my workout. And then when I'm done with the workout, it will sync to my Concept2 logbook which means that all of my workouts are tracked and I don't actually have to do anything, which is really simple and I like simplification. So I'm going to be running erg data on my phone while this whole thing happens. And that also means that when I'm done, it will automatically log the entire results from this. So to do that, I've got the erg data app up. I'm gonna turn wireless on. You'll see that it just synced, connected to erg. Perfect, I've got that done, connection successful. Next, let's figure out how to set this up. Now, I always need to start by programming the machine that I am going to start the, the Ergathlon with. And it's going to, I'm going to have to execute it in the order that I set up the machines. So if I want to ski first, then bike, then row, I have to set them up in that order. The order is totally up to you. According to Concept2, there is no specific order. So for this, I'm going to go to games, then more games, 
and Ergathlon. Searching for an Ergathlon event. Because it's the wireless chip, it's going to search and see if there are any that need to be joined, but because there aren't, it's giving me the option to create Ergathlon. Beautiful, now I have four options. I have Super Sprint, Sprint, Middle Distance, and Endurance. Essentially, it's 500s, 2Ks, 5K, or 10K. You'll notice that the bikes are all double the distance. That is because the bike erg measures in per thousand meter split, as opposed to per 500. Uh, so everything takes the same amount of time, but it is double for whatever you're going to do. So I'm gonna do the super sprint today because I don't think you guys wanna watch me for 22 minutes do a sprint or an hour or so doing the middle distance or two hours doing the endurance. So super sprint it is. Great, you can see machine setup. It's logged the first station as ski and then 500 meters. Now I'm not gonna hit start yet because I need to log the other machines. So let's go to our next machine, the biker. This is what I want for station two. I'm going to turn on the monitor. I'm going to go to games, more games, Ergathlon. Now it's gonna look for that event. Now, if I wanna try and set a world record, which of course I do, I'm going to need to verify through calibration. So let's verify calibration, let's hit yes. It says pedal to calibration speed. That's that arrow. So let's do that. I'm gonna hop on the machine. Sit down and start pedaling. And it's going to measure. I need to pedal harder until that bar gets to the arrow. And then I stop. Did I do it? Did I do good enough? Calibration verified. We win. All right, so I'm good to get off. Now I'm going to join Ergathlon. Verifying the entry. Beautiful. So now see it says wait to begin. That means that this is number two in the lineup, 1,000 meter bike. Now let's move to machine three, the row erg, turn it on. It's gonna work the exact same way. Games, more games, ergathlon. It's gonna do the same search. It's going to join, verify, verifying entry. And we've got number three, 500 meters, wait to begin. Now if we go back to the first machine, you will see all three are logged in here, ski, bike, and row. To start it, I'm gonna hit start. Configuring it, meaning it's gonna set all the machines ready to go. Please wait. Please wait. There we go. Now this is gonna be my first machine. You can see 500 is here. On my next machine, it says 1,000 Ergathlon machine number two, start when ready. That means that when I'm done with this guy, I jump to my bike erg, and when I'm done with that, Ergathlon machine number three, start when ready. So all my monitors are set up. Everything is ready to go. Um, I have warmed up, just for the record. I don't know if you can see. I've warmed up on all the machines. I'm not going into this cold. And my warm up was that I moved from machine to machine to machine, in the order in which I'm going to do the race, I, I rode or skied or biked the equivalent amount of time that I want it to take. So my goal is a 141 pace for all three machines. Um, and so I spent a minute 40 on each machine. That doesn't mean I went hard for a minute 40. I just cruised for a minute 40. And then somewhere in the middle of each one, I did what's called a power 20. Basically 20 strokes or maybe 40 pedal strokes on the bike and 20 on the ski, or maybe 25 on the ski. I hit the pace that I wanted to hit. So for 20 strokes, 141 on each machine, and then eased off the rest of the time, just to get my blood flowing, get hot and sweaty, and get ready to go. And that's how I warmed up for this piece. I would encourage you to do the same. Make sure that you warm up, that you're ready to go. Don't go into this cold. And I guess, with all that being said, my monitor's programmed. There's nothing left to do but do the workout, so. Here we go, I guess. Let's go.
So sometimes when filming things like this, it doesn't always go right. The mic cut out right before I started this clip, but basically um, that was a doozy. Uh, I definitely felt it. I had a lot of fun though. I enjoyed the workout itself. It was uh, challenging but fun to move between machines and get to hop from one to the other. It was effectively 1500 meters for time or five, three by 500 meters with no rest, just that you have to get off the machine and get back on each time. Um, but I really enjoyed that. The focus got to change, which kept it fresh and feeling fun. And things for optimizing this workout are number one, cut down on recovery, uh, transition times. Don't have the machines too far away from each other that you spend a lot of time moving because it, the workout tracks your transition time. And, uh, and keep your pace, be smart, and try to level out your pace instead of going hard on the one thing you're good at and dying on the others. Try to push the others and then use the one you're good at to kind of survive and keep pace. And if you feel great at the end, then push it. But um, yeah, I had a lot of fun, man. I got had some nasty cotton mouth in that. Really needed to hydrate. <laughs> Felt it after 250 meters into the ski, so. Um, but all in all, I would say that this is a really fun event. I think this might be the first ever recorded ergathlon on camera, and hopefully I did well. We'll see how it stacks up in the monitor, but let's go check the results. Let's see how it went. 509.3, should I hit my mark? On the ski, 141.7, yep, 141 was the goal. I guess 0.7 slower, if you wanna talk tents. On the bike, 139.7, beat it. On the row, 134.9, 509.3. Six, seven, six seconds and seven seconds respectively in the rest of the transition. No, I have no desire to repeat it. And uh, tracked on our data so we can swipe. You can see there's the piece. I'd practiced it once before. 527 the first time, 509.3 this time. So we can click it and I can upload it. And away we go. It's uploaded. Thanks guys. So thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I think it's really important to note that I, this workout was not done for me to show you how fit I am. That was not the purpose. The intent of this workout is to show you that fitness can be fun and we can mess around. We can do different things. I've never done this before. Today was literally the first day that I did this and it's just fun to play around and enjoy your fitness and use it for purposes that further you and, and your agenda, what you're attempting to accomplish. For me, it's staying fit so that I can enjoy life. And that's what I want is to be able to bring that for you guys, right? I want, I, I believe in changing lives and I believe in doing that through helping all of us and all of you dark horses out there value hard work and resilience and, and building habits that just are gonna push you along. And, and that's what you as dark horses are. If you're tuning into this, it's because you believe that there's something amazing that you can do and that you are. And that's what being a dark horse is about. That's what this channel is about. That's why I love all of you community. And that's why I tell you I love you guys. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You guys are incredible and I value all of you. Thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it. If you think of yourself as a dark horse and this message resonates with you and you enjoyed doing this and being a part of this, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell next to it because that means you'll get every video that we come out with. I love all of you. You guys are amazing. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, we'll see you on the other side. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this and you're looking for more and you want workouts, continuous coaching from me and my other coaches in our private Facebook community. It's our monthly workout program. It's $39 a month. Just go over to darkhorserowing.com slash athlete to sign up now.